Good morning. It is Wednesday. It's the 19th of June and it's a wet one. I know. I'm disappointed. I thought it was going to be better than this. Yeah, I'm just double checking here. Yeah, it's supposed to clear, but only for a short time. We will see rain this evening. So, uh, yeah, yesterday was unreal at this time. But, yeah, a little bit damp this morning. A couple of showers already in places that will kind of pass. And I think there's a few fog patches. Well. It was quite foggy when I was leaving the house this morning. So, if you drive it, just take it handy. But highest temperatures today, again, of about 17 or 18 degrees today, all right? Uh, some of the big stories in the papers today, well, obviously, the Anna Kriegel murder trial on the front pages today after two boys, two teenagers, 14-year-olds, just found guilty of the murder of that beautiful young girl. And uh, Anna's parents are pictured on the front page of the Times Ireland edition this morning, leaving court yesterday after that uh, announcement. Uh, 14 hours of deliberations and the jury at the Central Criminal Court finding both boys guilty of murder and uh, also one of the boys guilty of aggravated sexual assault as well. Uh, in the paper today in the Times, Anna's parents said that she will stay in their hearts forever and uh, the mum, I heard the mum speaking after um, the verdict yesterday, obviously very, very emotional scenes in the court. It's an awful story in the front page of the Times. Also in the paper today, uh, Pascal Donoghue says that he expects a strike by 10,000 hospital sports staff to go ahead tomorrow and obviously that will discommode a number of people. HSE braces for strike by 10,000 support staff is the headline in the Times Ireland edition this morning. Uh, more on Anna Creation on the front page of the Irish Sun. We love you, Anna. Sick porn on two phones in boy A's room and boy B's dad says you've jailed an innocent kid. There's uh, lots more evidence in some of the papers this morning that the jury didn't hear during the course Awful of the trial. Awful stuff. Yeah, that's in the sun there. And banished Joe and Elma get the Love Island boot. Din, din, din. Elma will be back at work so this uh, morning, Elma, I will she? will be back this morning, yeah. So uh, that's in the Irish sun this morning. Uh, more on Annie Criagel in the Irish Daily Mail today. Anna will stay in our hearts and more on the uh, verdict from court yesterday. Also, um, free inside the Irish Daily Mail today, a four-page pullout, an unmissable pullout, uh, Dr. Mosley's Fast 800 Summer Family Recipes. So this is the guy who created the 5-2 to diet which I can't remember what that is. I think it's you, you re eat really, really healthy and really lean for five days and then you have a few treats two days, I think, maybe. I could be totally wrong on that, though. Don't try that without checking that out first Thank on you. Google. Um, so that's on the front page of the Irish Daily Mail as well. Yeah, same story in the Irish Times then. She will stay in her hearts forever loved and forever cherished. And picture of both Anna's parents and herself on the front page there this morning. Morrissey to get full award despite um, government... Uh, appeal. Vragger says the appeal against the High Court judgment is to obtain clarity, but uh, Ruth Morrissey will still get the 2.1 million. And charging ahead, so all this talk about climate action, the climate plan, and so on the last number of days. Well, if you're somebody who wants to find out more about um, electric cars and crossovers and so on, inside the Irish Times this morning, they have the best buys of both electric and the crossover cars, uh, and they kind of go into detail about which makes, models, prices, and ranges, and so on. That's inside the Times there as well. Hmm. Interesting. Um, speaking of cars, interesting chat on Kerry today yesterday about electric cars. Yeah, it's good actually, in fairness. Very, very good, yeah. yeah. They're too expensive. They're way too expensive. That's yeah. it. I mean, obviously, like everyone's given out about how there's not enough charge points. There's probably enough charge points for the number of cars there are in the road. Yeah, there's so there few right of them. Now, yeah. um, and I, I think that that would, be, that would be an issue that would be rectified if people started to buy electric cars but there aren't enough electric cars and they're too expensive i know a friend of mine was looking at a particular model of car and they really wanted to get the electric or maybe it was a hybrid version anyway whatever but it was 10 grand more sure that's mad like and the you know otherwise there was a, a petrol version and this uh, hybrid or electric version i'm not sure which fully electric i'm not sure but yeah 10 grand so yeah, like no, that's I'm, just I'm ridiculous sure in time they will come down in price but right now they are expensive yeah. The only uh, way they're coming down on price, though, is if people start buying them, and that's not exactly, going to happen. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so a lot of talk about that, and uh, that was on Kerry today yesterday. You can probably listen to the podcast. They were, in general, talking about uh, the government's uh, climate action plan, and following on from that, then they spoke to farming representative and... Um, auto industry as well. Uh, Pink played the RDS last night and that's uh, trending today. A lot of people are talking about that. A great gig by all accounts. She's fantastic live. And uh, Andrew's tried to see her live a few times. Three times now. And I saw her live once. It's a long time ago though but she was excellent. Mm. So there's a lot of girls throwing knickers at her. 
Nice. Yeah, she was kind of, at one stage, she just had lots of knickers draped over her. Um, she's very, very good. I'd say she's one of those, that she's still great, even though like that's 14 years ago I saw her live oh, probably, yeah. but I'd say she gives it her all. Oh, that new album is excellent, so that's where she's touring. So I'd yeah. say, I'd say I'd, look, I'm just assuming that she's still great. So. Yeah. Um, uh, Anna Creagel is obviously trending as well, and a lot of people paying tribute to the beautiful young girl who died so tragically and so violently last year. A lot of reaction to the verdict on Twitter and some of that. When, it, when people start reacting like that some of it gets kind of dodgy yeah. in terms of obviously those boys can't be named but uh, a lot of talk about that on Twitter as well this morning yeah BBC our next PM is also trending so the latest TV debate from the UK for the next Tory leader was last night and uh, Patrick Keelty the Irish comedian summed it up in this tweet he said so one candidate who understands the Irish border one who doesn't one who thinks they can buy it and <laughs> one who can name places close to it great uh, that went into further detail as well, including a lot of swear words, but I think that sums up the, the debate there last night. And Juan Bissaka, the Crystal Palace player, is trending as well this morning. United uh, apparently have put in a 50 million quid bid for him, which has been rejected. He scored an OG last night for England, so good start. <gasps> did they lose? Uh, actually, oh, they did. They lost to France, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, think, okay. I think France scored two late goals, but uh, that we're was just, um, last night, yeah. We're just two days out from the longest day of the year, the equinox, just two days away. Um, and I don't know if you noticed, was it la last night before? It was still kind of bright at 11 o'clock. Yeah, I was just going to say, Mental, last yeah. night I went to bed at about 20 past 10 and I was still watching Netflix and I kind of, around quarter of I was like, geez, I really should go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. So I turned it off and as I, as I turned it off and the room went black, you could still see the light coming through the window. That's about cool. quarter of 11 last night. Um, Mad, what's the plan for today? Do you have anything exciting going on um, today? Uh, we have a football blitz later, actually. Uh, you do, I don't. Well, I do. We we do. You have to come now to as well as oh, those okay, things. Right, um, so yeah, that's what's going on in my life today. But let us know what what's happening with you. How about you? Are you busy today? Yeah, just the usual crack. Wednesday and all that kind of midweek kind of. Well, um, we have a busy show though because we've got another chance to win a one thousand euro bedroom makeover. We have a mini summer breakaway in the Clayton Hotel in Cork City Centre, and we're on one hundred euro in cash for our brand new. Who's for breakfast? With thanks to Moriarty's Central Car Sales and Centra and Farron Four. So loads to do. We're on air in about a minute's time. So join us on Radio Kerry and have a brilliant Wednesday. We'll talk to you soon. Good luck. Bye bye. Enjoy, now. Enjoy the blitz.